Um, excuse me, would you uh, mind helping me with my pencil? Uh, I broke my hand. Um, no thank you. I don't fuck with broke niggas. What's good everybody, it's your boy Rhino. And today we're talking about things girls do that guys hate. Luckily, not all girls do the things that I'm about to describe, luckily. But all the things that you're about to see, I have witnessed personally and I'm obtaining these from my personal experience. So let's hop into it. Number one, girls roasting themselves. I don't know why girls feel the need to give themselves a public roasting session in front of everybody because they feel insecure about something they call themselves ugly or fat or all these terrible things and they will find the most mean names to call themselves. And you don't need to do that because you're beautiful just the way you are. Hey, uh, we're gonna go to the beach later. Did you wanna come? The beach? The fucking beach? Have you seen what I look like? I'm a freaking whale. Ooh, it's Shamu. Come to the freaking beach. Let's pour some water on her so she can freaking live. Like freaking Fiona, I'm a fat hog. Freaking biggest loser contestant. Look at me, I'm a fucking monster. So, uh, so no, you don't, you know. Number two, assuming every single guy on the face of the earth is trying to get with them. Nowadays, guys can't even be nice and cordial or friendly with the girl without them thinking they have some alternate explicit motives. Hey, do you have a pencil I could borrow? I'm not having sex with you! Never mind. I'm sorry that I have- I have a boyfriend! She has a freaking boyfriend, you idiot! She's not having sex with you! Bitch. Bitch, who the fuck are you? Bitch, who the fuck are you? Number three, overanalyzing things. Girls, this normally happens when they're in a relationship with a the guy. They will start getting hella jealous really quick. They'll ask endless questions. Girls will do some damn Pink Panther, FBI investigation, top 100 America's most wanted questions when you step in the door for no reason. They ask questions that do not need to be asked and try to find problems when there aren't any. And just where the hell were you? I just got some milk, like you told me to. I came out like that. I know when you're lying to me. You're freaking. Sa I know what you were doing. You, you're probably out with all your other little hoes out there. You know what are you doing? Being a fucking creep out there. Being a fuck. Being a rapist. Are you a fucking rapist? R rapist not okay. Um, I'm not a rapist, but I just got some milk. Yeah. And who is that? Don't try to deflect this back on me because you know you already know that you would be having other people over too if you were bored. Ah. Um. Number four, being a party animal. I know way too many girls that partying is their life. It is a way of life. 365 nights of the year, they are turning up doing terrible illegal things. They will do the most unthinkable things all Saturday night, then go to church service like you're fooling anybody. They'll bring some damn Svetka in their water bottle at the church service and then go get messed up after church. Y'all need Jesus, y'all need holy water. So just a tip for those people, partying, you know, blah, blah, it's fun while you're young. Whipty, whipty freaking do. Here's a freaking cookie but it really is not that good of a look like getting messed up every night showing your demise on your snapchat story and other people's snapchat stories i don't know when i see people just getting messed up it's like oh wow partying's great and all but just try to keep it to a minimum the fifth and final thing that girls do that guys hate is chasing the wrong guy now normally girls are like oh he broke my heart again. Oh, I, I'm always a victim. I get my heart broke all the time. I get stabbed in the back. Oh, these guys are assholes. You're a freaking manipulative asshole who hurts me. Maybe it's because you keep going to the same type of guy over and over again. Maybe for once in your life, you could give the nice guy a chance. Hey. Ew, you're a freaking creep. Well, hi. I'm Noah. Uh, nice to meet you. You... I'm gonna give you about two seconds to back the mick fuck away from me. My dad is a lawyer, I have pepper spray. Darren, come save me. What's your name again? Isn't that the guy that beat you? He changed! Right, Darren? You changed, right? I'll stop the shit out of you again if you keep talking like that. He's just joking, that's just the way he jokes with me. Like a loving guy. 
if you give him a chance. So basically, as a girl, if you're not treating how you want to be treated by your man, then you're going to have to give him that Chris Brown deuces because you deserve much better than that and you deserve to be treated how you want to be treated. I should write a book. So that's what we got for you today. We really hope you enjoyed it. Once again, this is all in good fun. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this. Share it with your friends if you can relate. Thank you for the continued support. And until next time, 